So Nathan, welcome to the club. Uh, what was it about Gorn Town that uh, attracted you to that project? Yeah, it's all come about within a two week period really, time frame. Um, I think, you know, it presents a real big challenge. Um, you know, it's not an easy job by no stretch of the imagination. I think that's why I wanted to, you know, come here and, you know, I'm up for the challenge. Obviously last campaign, you know, they lost a lot of football matches and I want to make sure that, you know, the the football club has a has a winning team and a team that they can be proud of and I went and spoke to the board, we've had long conversations over the last week and, you know, shown them my ambitions and, you know, they've matched that. So, you know, it was a it was a no brainer really to take the job. What are your hopes and aspirations for the uh, upcoming season and beyond? Yeah, so first and foremost, bring stability for, uh, you know, in the first team that needs that. Um, we've got a lot of work to do on the, on the recruitment side of things. Um, so first and foremost, you know, that takes priority. Once, uh, once things settle down and we have stability, then, you know, we're going to look to add the style and the philosophy. Uh, around that, so it's going to be small steps uh, to start with, but you know, it's a long term plan, it's a project, so over time I'll be able to put my stamp on things. Um, but first and foremost, you know, we need to bring bodies in, we're, we're, we're really light at the minute, so um, we've got players in mind that want to come down. Um, so once we get things going, then you know, I think realistically, you know, I've come here to, to win, I'm a winner, you know, so. I'll be looking at the top end and, and pushing on and trying to take this club forward because it's a fantastic football club. Uh, what sort of philosophy and uh, style of play will you be looking to uh, implement at the club? Yeah, first and foremost, you know, core values, this football club, everybody that I've spoken to, you know, there's some fantastic people here. So making sure, number one, that the values are matched. So the players that we bring in buy into what this club's about. You know, it's a fantastic football club with great history. Um, and it's got so much potential. So, in terms of philosophy, you know, I want to be, play high intensity football, I want to get high energy, I want enthusiastic players, um, and you know, I want to excite the fans. I want to be watching my team on a Saturday, and you know, me and Simon want to be watching, being excited, what we see. Uh, and you know, the fans have been fantastic, win, lose, or draw, the fans are here. So, give them a team that everybody can be proud of, and you know, a first team that everybody can aspire to in terms of the reserve team all the way down to the under sixes. Um, how have pre season preparations been going so far, and uh, what can fans look forward to in terms of uh, player incomings? Yeah, so we're a little bit behind in terms of preparations. Obviously, this is um, this has all came about pretty quick, so. I've, I've assessed it, you know, assess, assess the situation, um, the, the current circumstances. So pre-season, uh, we're going to start a, a mini pre-season, if you like. Now, uh, we, we're going to try and fast track the processes of getting players in and sort of getting the style down and how we want to play. Um, realistically, off the back of last season, they've not won many football matches. So first and foremost, it will be being hard to beat, being hard to play against. It will be. Uh, making making us really solid, uh, and then you know going forward, that's when we can implement and add bits to it, um, you know, to get to where we need to be. But uh, first and foremost, I think it's an opportunity for players now to be in the shop window. It's a blank canvas. Uh, everybody will be trapped fairly in terms of game time and games that are coming up. They're going to have the opportunities, including the reserve players as well. Uh, so it's a fantastic time for me to actually see what we've currently got, what I've got to my disposal, but also those players that are out of contract right now, that are free agents, that are wanting to be a part of something uh, long term because this is a, it's an exciting journey now that we're on. And as you know, uh, last season we finished uh, third from bottom. What challenges uh, do you think you'll face and um, how do you think you're going to overcome them? Yeah, so you know the culture really, it's been a, a bit of a losing culture. Uh, it can sort of bleed into every area and every aspect of a football club, you know, when you're not used to winning football matches. So straight away, uh, we need to change the culture. You know, we need to get optimistic. We need to be positive. Uh, we had some really good conversations. I've met with the board, some fantastic people. Um, and we share a vision. You know, we want to go forward. This club's got huge potential and that's why I took it on. That's why I wanted the challenge. So um, I've been backed by the board which has been fantastic, they've matched my ambitions, so, you know, we need to just wipe the slate clean now, 
uh, and make sure that it's a it's a good environment, a positive environment, uh, and one where you know the players are going to come enjoy training. It's going to be professional. We're going to do things properly, um, and you know over time, you know we'll get it right, and um, you know it, that's what that's what needs to happen based off last season. Uh, we, we need to start again. I'm really excited for the people of Bourne, the supporters, the, the people, the hard-working staff, um, that it's a new chapter now in the club's history and one that everybody can look forward to. Sounds brilliant. Um, welcome to the club and uh, onwards and upwards. Cheers.